to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before but I'm sure this is definitely something new for my channel so you're probably new. If you are new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a mom to four kiddos. I have a five-year-old, four-year-old, two-year-old and four-month-old. Obviously by the title you guys know I'm going to be doing a quick review on the things that I've ordered from The Good and the Beautiful for my five-year-old who will be turning six who's going to be starting kindergarten this year. This is my first time ever teaching my kids. Really early on I knew I wanted to do homeschool and I've been searching far and wide for a good homeschool curriculum and I have found a few that I thought were really good but this one was definitely aligned the most with like my values I feel like and I think the curriculum itself is just like beautifully designed. I think it's um, really intentional. I do like that it has like, um, they have like good core values and everything as well in the company and everything. So one thing I really liked about them initially is that I could go on their blog or on their Instagram page and find so many free things which was nice and then come to find out their math and language arts is free up to a certain grade so it is for kindergarten if that's like what you're curious about um i believe it went up to like seventh grade sixth grade maybe i could be wrong like don't quote me on that um but then again you have to decide if you want to print everything and so that was my debacle for a while it was like it's not I don't have a printer, I don't have a color printer especially, so I'd have to buy one. So essentially it would have just been more expensive for me. It was just cheaper for me to purchase like the workbooks and stuff. So I'll go over like everything that I got. Let me go to my, um, um, because I know that this is really important because I know right now it's like hard times for like a lot of people. Um, I will say I looked at a ton of curriculums like I said and this one was one of the cheaper ones that I could find. I do feel like they do have fairly good prices, especially just for like the quality of the curriculum. What I ended up purchasing for my kindergartner was the handwriting level K book, the course book, the math K book, which is free as a PDF and you can print it. But I just got the course book so I didn't have to print it on my own. Um, you do need the math box with the a math K curriculum. I ended up getting the Fields and Flowers course set science for little hands in, uh, uh, for little hearts and hands. Um, I got the for the language arts. I got the language, the Reading Booster A book set, books set, and the Reading Booster A cards, and then the course book for language arts level K. So, um, in total for all those items, I did spend close to $200. So it was $193, but I'm just gonna show you guys everything I got. And this is not like a review on the curriculum itself. Like I said, this is my first time. So I've never actually used the curriculum or like put it to work. I'm essentially just gonna show you guys what I got. And so if you're thinking of ordering these same things, you at least have an idea of like what they look like and what you're getting yourself into, I guess. Um, so one thing I wanted to show you guys really quick is uh, they do have, like I said, a lot of free things like on their blog, on their Instagram, like you can go to like certain links and follow links to their sites and stuff to find, they have a ton of free like things, just fun little freebies. Um, so one thing that I found initially before even purchasing this stuff was, and my mom printed this for me and laminated it, um, which was so sweet of her. So I did... Yeah, let me turn this down. I did have her print this. So this is the, says the kindergarten sight words. So the kindergarten sight words, and I think the kindergarten, or sorry, the first grade sight words were also for free. So like, just, I love how like, just pretty everything is. Um, so I'm gonna put this all in a book. Maybe I'll like hole punch it, or at least put it in like a sleeve or something. Get like a little book, but this is sight word games. So this one has like, like wipe it off. Um, sight words parking lot, popcorn, swat it, sight words uh, on the steps, spilled sight words, reading cover. So just like fun like little games that you can do for sight words. Then it has this one and then she did print me two of those. Um, so it has like this game which is the one with that you would use like the vehicle with. And you can use like the math cars for this too, which is kind of cool. Um, and then um, this one as well. 
and then this reading cover game so you can put like use M&M's like colored M&M's and then just have your child put like a blue M&M on whatever matches like the color like that word so anyway and then also they do have like all these um, sight words on cards I will just start with the language arts one so some of this I'm opening with you so for example, I have kind of peeked through this. This is the Reading Booster A card. So it isn't a booklet and this first page is pretty thick. It's not like not bendable, like it's definitely bendable. So if I want to reuse this, I'm gonna have to be careful because my kids are crazy. But um, yeah, so I just think like the detail, like the attention to detail and color, it just like makes it fun for the kids. I feel like to like learn when something's like bright and colorful. So here it just shows you like what you should, your child should master before you start the language the arts course. And then it kind of just goes into like views, really good directions for parents. Um, I've noticed too, which is definitely very good for someone who's starting out and definitely a little nervous about it. Um, I did also have to get the reading booster A books. So this thing here so it like sticks it down which is pretty cool. And then you're gonna have all these books. So it's just like little books for your kindergartner. I dig, so it's just very simple books, obviously just to get them started with reading. Yeah, so these are really fun. Again, I think it like guides you to go read these um, like before the lessons and stuff like that. So I do like that it comes in this box and that it you know, it's like a little safe spot to keep all the books so they don't like end up everywhere. And then here is the gigantic, very thick language arts and literature um, level K course book. So um, as you can see, like the first page is pretty thick. It is like bendable though. The pages are like just like paper and then everything is printed in color. And so it gives really good directions for like the parents. It just says like read to child. So what you're supposed to like read to them. It even tells you like if you need to point and say like, um, but for example it says there are 26 letters in the alphabet and then it guides you to ask them how many letters are in the alphabet to make sure that they're just like listening and like you know going along with you and you know all that. Um, but yeah I just like think like all like their like little like designs and stuff are just cute. Um, they have like independent practice where they're like kiddos can, you can obviously tell them like what they need to do and then just have them do it. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to start this. So next we'll just do this like handwriting one. This one essentially is just, um, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. This was like $12 or something like $11. So it was cheaper than obviously like the course books, which are like almost $30. Um, but this is essentially just going to be just helpful for like having them like um, practice handwriting or having my daughter I should say practice her handwriting um, also practicing like writing out numbers and all that so um, next I'll do the math book and then the math box so this is the math book same quality for the like first page um, just like really awesome like colors like the paint the color on the pages is really nice um, yeah, really good quality, super thick. Um, I'm not really sure like what totally to say about this. Of course, I've never used it, so I can't really say much on the actual curriculum itself. Um, I After I go through this curriculum, maybe I'll do like a halfway mark um, like review and like how I'm liking it as like a first time homeschooling mom. And then here is the math box which I have yet to actually look at. Obviously I've seen it online and all that. Um, I, it is smaller in person so I'll say it's fairly small but I do like that. It's compact. It's not going to take up a lot of space. So it comes with, sorry, numbers 1 through 6 dice, numbers 7 through 12 dice. So that's what this is. And then equation dice comes with these little cards. Some counting sticks, I believe is what they call them. Yeah, counting sticks, 15 counting sticks. These are the game pawns. So I like the colors of them, they're, they're cute. Um, is this box worth the amount that they charge? I'm not sure. But again, 
if you're gonna be reusing it for multiple kids, I, th I think that's why for me, it, I was like, whatever, it's worth it. I'm gonna use this curriculum for the rest of my children, so, and I am already have three more that I are going to use this, and I'm not done having kids, so. I'm, I'm excited to see how they, like, you know, put this into the curriculum, and like, how often truly that I, I'm going to be using this. It sounds like you use it quite a bit, like you do need this to do this curriculum. And then it just slides back on. You know, I'm not super upset at the fact that this is hard to get off just because that way the kids can't get into it and lose the pieces. The last thing I have to open for you guys is this. It is the Science for Little Hearts and Hands fields and flowers. So this is the science curriculum I chose to go with. Uh, I did want to also possibly do some like, yeah, one second maybe. I also do want to possibly do some like grow, um, what's it called? Like maybe like growing some stuff in like a garden, just like ba very basic things that we can even just grow in our own home, like by the window, stuff like that. But we'll see. Anyways, this is the book though. And it's actually like really good quality. So it has stories of so this. These pages are definitely like book pages. This is like very nice. Yeah, so this will just be like a fun, like little science-y. This will be the science curriculum we'll go with. And then with that, it also comes with the parent guide for the, um, for the fields and flowers books. So yeah, it says talk about the course, correlated books that you, um, obviously kind of have to do with this activity supply so yeah like optional act yeah so it does it gives you optional activities takes you to their goodandthebeautiful.com and so yeah so supplies needed so it has activities in here um yeah so that's that's really cool so it does kind of it does give like activities and ideas to do with them and discussions to do or to have um, yeah, and then everything's just, just it's honestly really good quality, so I'm really happy with this. Um, yeah, so that is, that is everything I ordered for the curriculum for, from The Good and the Beautiful. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, you guys can leave them down below. Um, uh, I could answer them to the best of my ability. Again, I'm very new to this. Um, if you have used the Good and the Beautiful curriculum before, leave like your advice down below. Maybe um, just like things, anything really honestly. And if you have any tips for me and tips and tricks and that could be helpful, definitely leave them down below because they might also help someone else. But that is all for today's video. And I will just talk to you guys and see you in the next one. Bye. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right